Joining us now is Dr. Robert Murphy. He's a professor of infectious diseases at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. Good morning. Good morning. So today we're expanding 1B in, in Illinois, except for some counties, and so people under 65 can get it. But it's supposed to be the honor system, so I don't understand why people don't have to demonstrate they're taking prescriptions for heart or for pulmonary disease. Let's, that would seem like a better not, system. Yeah, let's not make it any harder than it already is. This is what the, the goal is. But everybody people are gonna jump the state, line and, and cut in line though. Yeah, everybody, everybody in this state needs to be vaccinated. Uh, we have to, I think if we set up a hurdle, like they do in some states, all that does is slow down the whole process. Let's use the honor system. You know, uh, I'm sure there's some way to figure out if somebody inappropriately took it, but you know, frankly, I don't care. You know, mm. use, just get the vaccine, get the vaccine out there. Uh, you know, I think most of the people in Illinois are honest people. And let's just get it out and, and just get over this hump because it, everybody's got to get this vaccine. Well, I think the bigger problem is trying to figure out how to get the vaccine yeah. uh, for <laughs> everyone, right? But we've talked about that. Let's move on. Lots of, lots of news to get to today. You said this variant in New York City is really concerning. That's very, so they report, it's not even on the front page or anything, but they have this new variant, B1.526. It's very similar to the South African uh, variant. Uh, in other words, that the antibodies that we use to treat uh, people when they first get infected and the antibodies that the vaccines are making don't work so good or maybe don't work at all. I mean, it's this little story. I, you know, of course, the story is going to evolve over time. But if these variants get out there and take over the, the uh, virus in the country, basically, we start all over again. I mean, this is uh, something that's very concerning. Let's see what happens. Maybe it's just going to be in New York. Uh, I don't know. But we have got to get people, we have to get these numbers down very quickly. And we're going in the right direction. All right. Tell us the story about the, the uh, outbreak at a gym uh, here. Is, is, that a, is that something that's susceptible for, for gyms? Or was it this particular gym something they were doing? Well, it's, a, it's a Chicago story. So uh, a couple months ago, there was a gym here. And they were having a class with 81 people. Oh. Like, we have a class of 81 people, or it's, they were in and out. Maybe it wasn't all at the exact same time. But uh, anyway, there's 81 people involved, and there's 55 of them get COVID, all right? Now, while they were exercising, they were taking their masks off. Like, I don't know, how dumb is this? But, you know, it, uh, that's why it's spread. And you also see uh, this new uh, baby with COVID or babies with COVID, 5,000 times more viral particles. What does that mean? Only, only 50,000, 51,000 more times. That's bad enough, okay? But uh, yeah, they have no idea why. Uh, it's being another being investigated. Is this another variant or is this ah. just some strange case? Hmm. We, we don't know yet, but these are the kind of things that we have to do as a country with our good public health uh, authorities, investigate and really mitigate these issues quickly because you know this thing, you know, we're not done yet. All right, viewer questions now. Our 90-year-old relative has had COVID but was given the first shot in the nursing home. She had a fever of 103 afterwards. They are insisting that she get the second shot. We are afraid of how bad her reaction could be. Do you agree she should receive the second shot? Well, fever is very common after a variety of vaccines, even including flu vaccine. So fever by itself, you know, it's just, okay. I mean, it happens. Uh, the current recommendation is that she should go ahead and have the second uh, shot. Now, this recommendation may change next week because they're looking at these second shots in people who had COVID. She had COVID in the past. That's like a vaccine itself. And now she's getting first dose of the vaccine. That may be all she really needs, but I can't actually say that for sure right now. So I say with just a fever on the first time, uh, you should take the second. All right, next question. Everyone talks about how great the Pfizer vaccine is, but what about Moderna? I'm 67 years old, received the Moderna vaccine. Is that just as good as Pfizer? These are great vaccines. These have hit the ball out of the park, both of them. They're in the 95% effective range. There's a little bit lower, uh, down to 86% in over 65 with the Moderna. But this is like it, two different studies. It's really even hard to compare them. They're both great. I, when I was growing up, 
like if you had some money, you either had a Cadillac or a Lincoln Continental. I mean, this is like our choice here. Ah, all right. All right. And uh, this one says, I know you've addressed this before, but we are getting mixed messages. My husband and I are getting our second vaccine next week. When is it safe for us to visit our nieces and nephews who are in the same area? And can my husband go to the gym? Well, hopefully don't go to the other gym <laughs> yeah. from the other story. But uh, no, so when you have, when you're a week or two out from your second dose, you are really pretty protected. Uh, you can loosen up, you can go out. You can, uh, but you're still, you know, because of these variants out there and stuff, you should still wear a mask and you should still socially distance, but you can interact more freely. Go visit the relative, but you know, be, be safe. Wear a mask and, and stay a little bit away from them. And in case you're wondering, 250th appearance for Dr. Murphy today. <laughs> we appreciate you uh, informing the public. So thanks for joining yes, us every thank morning. You. I think I worked more this year than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that about is that. definitely Hello. true. Uh, if you have a question for the doctor, yeah. uh, head to our Morning News Facebook page, post it there. We'll talk to him again tomorrow. Yeah. Have a good one. A sheet cake from the jewel coming at uh, appearance 300. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Paul. Good morning. Uh, here's what's going on.